feel like plants are therapy, almost. Um, it's something to nurture that doesn't talk back. How can you not love it? I mean, they talk in their own way, like they might lean if they're wet or they might turn yellow. Like they talk in a subtle ways. I'm a little yellow, so maybe you're loving me too much, mom, back off. I'm dry, you're not loving me enough. Like it lets you know what it needs, where humans can't always articulate their needs. First thing I do when I wake up in the morning, before I even use the restroom, is I check, I finger all my plants. Like literally I go and I stick my finger in every single plant. If it needs water, I water it. If it doesn't, I, you know, I prune it. Before I have coffee, before I do anything, I touch the plants first. It's not, it takes me about an hour to water everybody when I have to, but it's not difficult. It's a part of plant parenting. And that's a question I do ask when people come in and they want to buy, they want to have an Instagram, a gram-worthy apartment. Okay, how much time do you have in the morning to take care of your plants? I was the kid that would come home with plant cuttings in her pockets from her grandparents' house, um, always picking things like flowers and things off of trees. And so literally my great-grandma sat me in front of plants and said, here, take care of these um, to kind of get me from underfoot. It was supposed to be punishment, but I loved it, so. Last year, I was selling just plants that I'd make cuttings of. Any plant you have, you can make, it's called a mother plant, you can make baby plants from. And I had so many, I was just selling a couple of those here and there. Um, and then I wanted more house plants and I was having to drive a ways to get house plants. And I'm like, well, I'll just buy some wholesale for me and my homegirls and we'll just, you know, share amongst ourselves. Well, the prices were so great that I kind of branched out. I put a few of the ones I had on sale online and like the next morning I was sold out. Um, and I sold out every week since. My house was overrun with working a full-time job from home already, then having this job, my home was no longer my home. I was not getting spiritual or physical rest. So I was initially, initially just looking at an office space, where somewhere where I could just pack orders that wasn't in my house. Like, I've been super busy, and it hasn't felt like work a day since we've opened. Most of the plants I have here are tropical plants from Florida. They're wild outside plants. In order for a plant to survive indoors, it has to mimic its natural environment. So it has to be humid, it has to be warm. Part of the reason I picked this space is because of this awesome fountain here that adds humidity to the air. Um, but that's not enough, so I actually need a secondary industrial humidifier to keep the humidity levels at a level that works for the plants. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't always equate to human comfort, but it's all about the kids, so you do what you gotta do.